about introducing the children to the world of engineering. The children then submit a project for entry all about how they could improve or change or enhance or add something to their community through engineering which will benefit the community and all who live in it. So I think it's really nice how it ties in the community links to the children and their family and the school uh, which is really important for them to develop a sense of ownership within their community and a sense of citizenship as well. So it's really, really important, um, I feel, that you introduce the topic well so that the children get really, really involved and really invested in this from the get-go. So in the beginning, I would start with assessing their prior knowledge. So just introduce the term engineering, write it up on the board, nothing fancy, just a simple lesson, just to see where the children are at. So you can gauge their prior knowledge, their understanding of the term, their understanding of the job, and what it includes. You could do this via a brainstorming session, a KWL chart, uh, you could show them a video, you could show them some samples of work engineers do, just really it's a very basic intro. Then allow the children to give you their feedback on what they think engineers do, do any of them have engineers in the family, make it really you know, related to them and their community. So have let them have a think about where they live. Is there anything in the community which they think was created by an engineer? Just a really, really simple lesson. After this, then I would show the children the STEPS website where they can look at the previous entries, uh, the entries from previous years and what they consisted of, what the children might be aiming towards. Let them see kind of how the children developed their projects and this will give the children a really good understanding of what is expected of them. Then I would tell the children that you have entered them in the competition, how exciting it is. They're going to be representing their school and their families and their community and how it's so, so important for them to work together as a team to do their absolute best and to try and, you know, get into the competition and win it. So get them really, really fired up from day one. It's also important to be very, very consistent in your approach to the program. So try build it into your timetable as much as you can in a consistent manner. So you might do it for 10 minutes every day. It could be the first 10 minutes in the morning, or you might do it for an hour once a week. You might do it over the space of a few days for 20 minutes a day. And the beauty of it is, is that it integrates so well. It could form an English lesson. It could form a science lesson, geography, SPHG. It could tie in with pretty much any of your lessons um, and any subject. So there's no excuse. It can be easily linked in, giving you loads and loads of time to work on it. And projects like this really help children who are maybe not very confident academically. They may not excel in school tests and so on, but they may love working with their hands. They may love this project-based, hands-on learning, which is what the STEPS engineering program represents and what it, you know, really encourages in children. So these children will, you know, they'll get their chance to shine and to really, really kind of enjoy lessons in school. And because it's something different, it's outside of the normal textbooks, I find that children really, really respond very well to this type of project based learning and it's collaborative learning as well, which is really, really important for children. Um, on the topic of collaborative learning, I would definitely spend a few lessons going through your expectations of the children while they're working in groups and working collaboratively. So sometimes, especially in September, when children come back after the summer holidays, can be very very excited to see each other a lot of talking and you know that's all very good but you have to let them know that there are expectations this is really really important there are certain rules we have to follow where we respect each other we listen respectfully we take turns we share um we do our best we're on task and this will need a lot of reinforcement so spend plenty of time going through this and 
don't rush it and also I wouldn't rush the choosing of your project either. Give this a few weeks. You may even want to bring the children for a walk into the local community so they can see what they might want to work on. Even a walk around the school, around the school grounds, um, that is also part of the community. Like what would they change? Give them time to really examine their local community to see what they might do differently. And lastly, I would strongly encourage you to include parents as much as you can because they are part of the community too and including the parents just ties it together even more for the pupil and makes it far more meaningful. So maybe you can make an announcement on your school website or on your blog or on Seesaw, whatever you use. Tell the parents what you're doing, that you're entering this competition and that you'll be keeping them up to date as you go along with updates and so on. But well, perhaps the parents might like to, you know, take a walk around the village or the town and have a chat with their children about what they might need to change or improve. It could be the local playground. Is it um, suitable for children with additional needs? Do they have a communication board? Um, do they have a swing which is suitable for children in wheelchairs? All those type of things which parents can do a lot of outside of school too with the students. So um, that's my time up. So in a nutshell, just ensure the children are motivated from day one through your attitude and how you approach the programme and give them time to choose their title, give them lots of time um, to explore their school and the community and surrounding areas. And lastly, try to ensure if you can to get parents involved as much as possible as this will only add to the whole experience for the children, which hopefully will be a really, really enjoyable one.